Yeah, hello guys. Uh, really happy to see you all here. Uh, so yeah, I, my name is Sergei Vashenko. I'm from Community Engineering Team and currently I'm most involved in uh, developing the Adobe Stock Integration Project. That is one of our community projects. That's actually probably the newest and freshest project on uh, in community engineering and actually it was started in April 2019. Is the sound, is the sound okay? Should I move the microphone a bit? Higher? Like the, right now? Oh yeah, it's better because I heard some disturbance there. So, uh, the project was started, was actually announced at Imagine and was started, the first pull requests were uh, made at the contribution day before the Imagine conference. And the very interesting and specific thing about that project is that from the beginning, from the design stage, we were working close together with Adobe team. Like probably that was one of the first interactions on developing projects together with Adobe team. I'm talking about Adobe Stock team. The guys from Adobe Stock team taught at us a lot. And actually I can see that they are also adopting our, some of our approaches or things that we do on their side. Like they are, they are becoming more open toward, towards uh, open source processing and uh, they kind of look at Magento as a uh, really good example of organizing the public repositories and stuff like that. So more about that a bit later. First, so first, uh, this I would like to clarify that despite Adobe Stock integration project is called Adobe Stock, it doesn't have to do anything with uh, shares market and it also is not related to stock inventory that you may confuse it with. Adobe Stock is a media marketplace uh, that basically allows designers, allows content managers to download, uh, to publish or download various assets like images, videos, templates, 3D models and more. So basically it's, all, all, it's the marketplace for everything you need for design, for content management, uh, basically for building the appearance of website, including the e-commerce website. Uh, here is a short video overview of what Adobe Stock is. Let's assume that this is kind of automation of some part of my talk, because you know developers like to automate. And I think we can reuse that nice video made by Adobe.
Okay, so that's, that was basic overview of the workflow that is usually used to work with Adobe Stock. As you can see, there are some uh, integrations already in place. That, that was, in this particular example, it was integration from Adobe Stock to Premiere Pro. However, uh, we thought if Premiere Pro can do this, why Magenta can't? And actually, as you can see, there are lots of steps involved to publish a picture, to publish a video in this case, or a picture to the website from the stock market. And uh, we decided to, uh, to improve that scene, but first we would like to know if actually that uh, improvement of publishing stock pictures will help anybody. So we did a research and find out that Magento merchants are using stock images a lot. Uh, like more than 15% of uh, interviewees in our research uh, said that they are using stock images right now. And 22% of all the, in, all the interviewees are using Adobe stock images right now, Adobe stock assets. So, uh, considering that it requires so many steps to get the picture to, on the website and still it's such a required uh, feature, such a required for workflow for content management, we decided to, uh, to improve the scenario and make it as easy as possible for merchants. And here, us, uh, here are our vision and goals. So the goal is uh, pretty simple. It's enable merchants to add high quality stock images to the website, as short as it says on the slide. And uh, after some research, we found out that there is a tool in Magento already that enables adding images to the website. And that's called Media Gallery. Magento Media Gallery. Probably you all know that uh, slide-out panel uh, where you can uh, where you see all the images on your file system in the media folder. Who have worked with Magento Media Gallery at least once in Magento? Okay. <laughs> not, so, not, not so many of you. But still, if you've worked with Media Gallery, do you like, do you like Media Gallery and how it's implemented right now? <laughs> okay. Or different, different opinions on that. Well, uh, to be honest, if there is a Media Gallery for adding pictures to Magento, uh, so part of our goal is already in place, what we needed to add. Uh, to improve is allowing merchants to add high quality uh, stock images. We decided to place a button to the media gallery to assess the Adobe stock and be able to add images to the media gallery. Yeah, that's the interface of the media gallery for those of you who haven't seen it. Uh, I would say I have more to say uh, about the media gallery itself a bit later. So after I can click the button, additional slide out panel opens and here you can see our implementation in full. Uh, the implementation of the integration. So that's a grid where you can search, filter, find images that you would like to get on your website, and uh, later on you just open the image you, you, would, you selected, and uh, you can see some details, some keywords, some related stuff, but this is just uh, sugar to the main theme. The most important is that you can save free image, like save the preview from Adobe Stock, that that will allow you to design the website before you actually pur purchase stock images and see how, image, how, how the actual image will look in the content. And you can license that image, like purchase it for the credits on Adobe Stock and uh, use it, use it as in production. 
So as Media Gallery uh, is integrated everywhere in Magento, it's available for uploading pictures to catalog, uh, to category, assigning pictures to category, uh, to CMS, adding pictures to CMS pages, to uh, blogs. Uh, you can use it from uh, Page Builder as well. So Adobe Stock uh, integration, at, as it was integrated in the, into the Media Gallery, allow, uh, also is available on, in all these places. Basically, you're saving picture from Adobe Stock to Media Gallery, and then you can reuse it everywhere in the project. But after we Actually, everything I, I showed you uh, right now is already in our repository. The project is still in development stage. It hasn't been released yet. But uh, if you install the Adobe Stock integration from the repository, you can see all this uh, UI and most of the functionality working. Some of the, some of the uh, good parts of this functionality was, by the way, completed yesterday at the contribution day. That was really really a nice result. So, uh, after we developed that uh, interface of Adobe Stock for browsing images where you can filter, you can sort, you can easily find the image, you, you see the informa some information about images, we looked back at the media gallery and thought about like, why would we develop such a nice, such nice feature, such a nice interface only for uh, Adobe Stock? If we can improve Magento as well, we can improve Magento Media Gallery. So, right now, we are thinking about going further and actually using the experience we get from developing the Adobe Stock integration and adding the functionality right into the media gallery, adding the, uh, probably if you worked with UI uh, components and UI grids, you would notice uh, some familiar elements like header, uh, there are no filters on that slide, but you can see filters, pagination, header, that's all are just uh, parts of uh, standard Magento UI grid. So it's extensible and it provides a lot of features for navigating between records. And that, that can be the, the, next, the next step of uh, Adobe Stock Integration implementation. Basically, moving and applying the UI component grid to Media Gallery, making, it, uh, making the Media Gallery browsable, like navigation, filters, and so on and also nice image details. So, uh, currently uh, we have completed milestone one from the three milestones that were planned for Adobe Stack integration and we are working on milestone two. That is uh, implementation of login to Adobe Stock from Magento and licensing functionality. The login and licensing is actually in repository right now. Uh, so we are kind of coming uh, closer to the end of Milestone 2. So we still need to adjust uh, a lot of visual details and for sure en uh, ensure that the code, the repository is covered with uh, tests, that the code is quality, that there are no bugs, no, no side effects. And then, and then we'll see, think about media gallery, uh, media gallery improvement. Additionally, uh, right now we started discussions on uh, adding even more features to media gallery itself, Magento Media Gallery, and uh, even using some machine learning for generating tags for <coughs> images in the media gallery so that we can search images by those stocks. I think that will be very exciting. But probably that's, that's not for this year. Just to give you some sense of, of what can come later. So now, uh, 
that part of presentation will be closer to developers, will, will be closer to technical experts, some technical details. Uh, Adobe Stock Integration is based on Adobe API. We wouldn't be able to develop uh, that integration so fast if not uh, good, I would say good Adobe API documentation and implementation. We are using Adobe Stock API that, uh, yeah, that have uh, really nice description documentation on uh, adobe.io website. It allows uh, to search for images. Uh, it allows license information and uh, Adobe Stock API has uh, the implementation, the open source implementations for SDK for many languages. And you can see the link to uh, Adobe Stock uh, SDK for PHP on the slide. Actually, during the development of Adobe Stock integration, we managed to deliver a couple of pull requests to, uh, to that repository. And actually, I think that we, uh, uh, we started the open source collaboration with Adobe on our project. Uh, working on uh, Adobe repository that is the PHP SDK for Adobe Stock API. And that's, that, was, that was really exciting, like uh, real open source collaboration between the Adobe and Magento. We also use different uh, set of API. Uh, the API and the services in Adobe are developed in a way that all the services are uh, connected together. So, to authorize to log into any service uh, developed by, to most services developed by Adobe, you would need to use Adobe IMS API. IMS is uh, ident identity management system that, uh, that is shared between all the APIs. Like you can uh, have the same implementation of the authentication for Adobe Stock and for other services, like Behance and so on. So uh, we, uh, considering what I just said about Adobe MS, we uh, divided the initial implementation into several packages. So we are not working on a single repository and we are not going to uh, release just one package uh, in scope of Adobe Stock integration. By fact, we currently uh, plan deliveries to four repositories, improvements to four repositories. Here is the Magento part. Uh, that's uh, Adobe Stock integration containing all the functionality related to media, containing the UI and containing the uh, implementation of Adobe Stock API. And the package that will work with Adobe IMS as it can be used for any Adobe service authentication will be extracted from Adobe Stock integration. Currently it's in the same repository, but soon we'll move it to Magento Adobe IMS repository that is actually uh, also up right now, uh, but the development is not going on on that repository yet. And uh, release this package separately so that if you are building any extension or integration with any other Adobe service, this package will be really useful to you. And for sure, considering that uh, as part of the project we are going to improve Magento Media Gallery, we are planning to deliver uh, a lot of functionality to Magento 2. Magento Media Gallery that you can see on the slide is not uh, the real module name right now. It's just meaning that we are going to deliver to Magento Media Gallery. I, I don't know uh, which module or which name of the module we are going to uh, contribute to. But uh, right now, for sure, we are planning to uh, move the implementation, the basic implementation of that images grid 
the ability to display uh, listing UI component featuring images together with navigation between them to Magento UI module. Uh, in our Adobe Stock Integration Repository, there is Adobe UI module containing that functionality and soon we will just uh, make a pull request and deliver it to Magento 2. Uh, and that's closer look on Adobe Stock uh, Integration implementation itself. So we have a layered architecture, I would say, uh, vertically and horizontally on the slide, I mean. And uh, uh, we, try, we made this layered implementation in order to open the integration for extensibility and customization as wide as we can. For sure, we moved UI modules that implement all the UI functionality, all the appearance uh, to the separate modules. We separated it from the uh, model logic because UI is uh, the stuff that, that is customized the most frequently. And uh, we also have separate API modules. The API layer that you can see in the middle are modules that contain on the interfaces. So that if you would like to replace any module from Adobe Stock Integration, you can drop the module, the implementation module, reuse the API module, and because all the modules work together based on the API, on the interfaces that are uh, stored in the API modules, you will still uh, so subs uh, subs uh, changing the implementation, you will still uh, be able to keep the system uh, integrity untouched. Yeah, and uh, as, I, as I already said, the grid is basic UI components. There are not, not too many changes for uh, listing for existing listing UI component to build uh, the images grid. And uh, listing UI component is one of the components that we are going to deliver to Magento. The second one uh, is overlay. You can see it here. It's like licensed label on top of image, of an image. Uh, it's actually done by the overlay component. That is the second component. Uh, that we are going to deliver to Magento UI library and each, uh, so you will be able to use it to place an overlay on any image everywhere uh, using the Magento UI components. Good. Uh, so, uh, it's a community project. Adobe Stock Integration is a community project, so the development of Adobe Stock Integration is community driven. And uh, all the repositories are open source. So the, the success of Adobe Stock Integration project is uh, dependent a lot on, on the community, on the choice of community, on initiative of the community. Uh, as I previously said, we have four open source repositories we are working with. And uh, the main repository is Magento Adobe Stock Integration. Just for your note, you can still see the Adobe IMS module on the screenshot that will go to Magento Adobe IMS repository. Uh, I would say, I would like to say that there is at once thing that is special to Adobe Stock Integration repository. It's not fork of Magento, it's a separate uh, package of modules. So uh, you'll have to if you would like to install Adobe Stock Integration, you have to check out Magento 2 first and then uh, install Adobe Stock Integration on top of it. And our backlog can be found at Adobe Stock Integration Repository Projects tab, backlog uh, dashboard. We also have a Zen Hub burndown that uh, can be used to track our progress to see what's included in the milestone. Uh, 
and uh, to see how we are how we are doing, when when to expect uh, additional improvements to the integration if you are, are interested in it. So, if you are not in community engineering Slack wo uh, workspace yet, I would encourage you to scan this QR code or use the link to join the, uh, the Slack workspace because a, a lot of communication is going in the Slack. And uh, our channel in the workspace is called Adobe Stock. So we are posting any news, any updates, notification about the public meeting that is happening every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Kiev time. And uh, at our public meeting, we are uh, presenting the pull request merge, but also we are grooming and we are deciding on what we are going to do next. Like we are uh, right on the last public meeting, we had a discussion on the uh, new media gallery UI and how we are going to deliver it, how we are going to uh, implement it. It's, I, I really like that those meetings are open, allows and allowing community to participate, allowing any contributor to have some influence on the uh, on our direction. All the recordings are uploaded to a Magenta Community Engineering uh, channel and uh, there is a, an Adobe Stock Integration playlist so uh, you can see what we, how we come up with uh, those ideas and what we discussed on previous meetings. Uh, during the presentation, I was using the word we to say, like, we, dis we decided, we investigated, and we developed. Right now, I would like to show you who we actually are. And this is a community that built everything I uh, showed you on, uh, during this presentation. So I think uh, those guys deserve some applause. Thank you, guys. I know that some of you are here in, uh, in this room. And for sure, I would like to say thank you to our contribution partners that uh, allow, uh, that help, uh, help their developers to participate in the open source contributions. And that's it for me. Right now, you can see the QR code on the left. That's a link to the cloud instance where you can actually try the Adobe Stock integration, test it. The username and the password to admin panel is mageconf2019. It's under the uh, QR code. It will be available probably today. Uh, so don't miss out. If you have questions, I will be open for it. If you would like to uh, post questions later, please use the, uh, those accounts. Uh, that is mine and uh, my team account on Twitter. If you don't have uh, any questions, you can just take my picture and still tweet it to my handle. Thank you. Uh, yep. Uh, thank you, Sergei, for a great presentation. So maybe some questions here. Please raise your hand all the way up so I can see it. Yep. Uh, thank you for the presentation. Um, the question is, uh, will that be included in the next uh, Magento release or is this like uh, not included on un dependent uh, module for Magento? Uh, so the plan is to release it soon. It's, it's not, I don't think it, it will be going to, uh, so Adobe Stock Integration is, will be going to include, to be included in the, in Magento uh, release. So it's uh, most likely it will be a separate package. However, the UI components, uh, 
the parts that we are planning to deliver to Magento to repository uh, will most likely be included in the next in the uh, the next release, the closest release. Mm -hmm.